Now that the rainy season is underway in California, a term we're going to be using more and more atmospheric rivers. You might have heard them called pineapple expresses before. They're the primary feature of the global water cycle, and the reason they were called uh, Pineapple Express here in California is because that water tap came from near the Hawaiian Islands. You can see by our key here that the purple means dry and wet is going to be kind of that goldish color. And a lot of that is featured here to the south of California. When we tap into that very rich moisture by systems coming into the uh, California, a low pressure system diving out of the Gulf of Alaska, tapping into that, it gives us big numbers for rain and snowfall totals. The Center for Western Weather and Water Extremes has been doing a great job over the past several years researching this, so we have a better understanding what we can expect from these atmospheric rivers. They bring 25 to 50 percent of the water supply. They can also be the main cause of flooding, but the absence of atmospheric rivers can also be the main cause of droughts in California. And get this, a strong atmospheric river carries 7 to 15 times the amount of water vapor at the mouth of the Mississippi River. That's why better understanding of these events is critical for preparation. And now we've got a key here, a category. Category 5, primarily hazardous. So when we get those big atmospheric rivers, we can have tremendous amount of flooding, widespread flooding, debris flows, and mudslides throughout California. And then we bring it down to category one basically primary beneficial for California and get this this is nothing new it's just that we're starting to better understand them as we head into our rainy season we usually get a couple of these to really get us those water amounts that we need to take us through the dry season